What's up, y'all? It's your boy Marcel P. Black checking in. As you know, it's July, which is International Stop Rapping Over Vocals Month. So we talking everything and all things Red Road. You know what I'm saying? Real MCs don't rap over vocals for the whole entire 31 days of July. You know what I'm saying? Um, so today I want to talk about uh, four different ways to prevent over vocals rap. Now, this comes from um, a 2017 post from DJ Booth from Denzel Curry where he was talking about, you know, when people see you perform, they want to hear you not rapping over your tracks. Um, one guy shared it and said he was too fat, you know what I'm saying, and that if you didn't want to hear him uh, breathing hard while he's performing, then uh, you're going to hear him rapping over vocals. And I replied to him like, yo, I'm like 400 pounds too, bro, and I've never rapped over vocals, you know what I'm saying? And I began to give him different ways that I do to make sure that I ain't got to rap over vocals because I'm not winded or whatever. He never responded to me, might have cursed me under his breath, but today... Uh, I'm going to break down those four points to you to make sure that you're prepared once uh, the world opens back up and start doing shows and you're no longer rapping over vocals if you are, you know what I'm saying? Even if you are rapping over vocals, these are things that can make you a better performer. Uh, yeah, see you in a second. Number one. Number one is cardio workouts. Cardio workouts. Um, it was a point to when I really started touring a lot. And, you know, you going out, you drinking, you eating late, going to the diners and the pounds, definitely packed on. Wasn't really playing sports anymore, uh, you know what I'm saying, and just gained a lot of weight. Eating bad, whatever, boom. You know, getting into my 30s and, you know, just not being as active as I once was. So there was a point, probably about two, two or three year time span, to where I really couldn't move on stage. You know what I'm saying? I had to stand at the microphone and rock. Now, I never rapped over vocals, but I knew if I did too much moving, I'd run out of breath. Maybe miss a couple lines here and there or whatever. So uh, once I found I was the diabetic at the end of 2018, I put myself on a serious cardio regimen. And it really changed a whole lot of stuff for me as a performer. And it helped me get my health right. So uh, three times a week, I would go to Planet Fitness. i get on the elliptical. Uh, i put it on six. And my goal was to run uh, between 2.8 and 3 miles per 30 minutes, right? So I'm trying to run basically uh, nine miles you know, for 90 minutes a week. And just doing that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Not working out, not going to the gym and lifting weights and things of that nature. Just literally just elliptical. And when I say, you know, just doing this over almost a year and a half, I almost lost like 80 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And it helped my A1C levels go down, but things of that nature. But most importantly, it was good. It was good stress relief. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, definitely self-care. But I lost a lot of weight. I sweat in my cardio. My lung capacity was A1. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to, you know, move around and jump around a little bit and dance on stage. And, you know, some of the, you know, it helped me as a as a rapper on stage and in the booth. So some of those things I didn't really have to do takes on because I was able to, you know, you know, you know, my breath control was a whole lot better. My delivery was a whole lot better. So shout out to cardio, man. Just do it. Like you ain't got to go fast. You ain't got to go that far, but just do it. If it ain't but 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying, two or three times a week, and you just build up until, I, w I wouldn't suggest more than 30 minutes. But if you can start at 10 minutes, maybe do 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and you can consistently get it, you know what I'm saying, on the cardio tip, I promise you, man, it'll make you so much stronger. It'll give you more stamina on stage or just anything else. You know, as a fat dude, it was hard for me to walk to Walmart, you know what I mean? So cardio workouts could definitely help you on stage. Um, you know, if you're a big person or a little person too, you know what I'm saying? You got to exercise those muscles and you know what I'm saying? And, you know, some people say, um, try to wrap your words, you know what I'm saying? While you're doing it, you know, outcasts did it and people, everybody say they do it. It's hard to do, but just try it or if nothing else. Just listen to the instrumentals to your beats, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why you're doing it. And you know what I'm saying? And it just kind of helps you, you know, Learn your lyrics or whatever. We're gonna talk more about that next. But it's important that you get your cardio up, man. Get open all this up, man. Get it, get it, get it ready. You know what I mean? And next we're going to number two. Point number two, and I talked about it a little bit just a while ago. Rehearsal. Rehearsal. You know, one thing I see a lot of young artists do, they'll record a song two or three days before, but then they want to perform it, you know what I'm saying? Uh two or three days later, you know what I'm saying, when they have a show. And they didn't do no rehearsal. So the last time they actually spit this song was when they recorded it. They don't know the words. So know your rhymes, man. Know your rhymes. You don't have to rush and put something out if you don't know it, if you haven't figured it out. The more you perform, the more you gain a muscle memory, right? So it helps out with breathing, delivery, and everything. Like practice your movements. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm from the old school. You know what I'm saying? I'm from I'm from the get a mirror, you know what I'm saying? And a, a, a broom, a, a broom handle. 
uh, you know, my dad had microphones or a brush or something like that or whatever. Hell, get a lotion bottle, something. And get in the mirror and just rock your rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Like plan out your talking points. Ooh, ooh, young people, uh, transitions is not good with a lot of young artists, whatever. But most importantly, spit your, spit your songs. Pick three or four songs. It take about 30 to 40 minutes a day and just run through them 100 percent run through them like you rocking the crowd i had i used to have these pictures of my favorite rappers on the wall or what have you and i would try to like rock the favorite rappers you know what i'm saying i'm trying to make sure that i'm entertaining them so i got scarface i got biggie i got jay-z i got ll cool j on the wall and i'm trying to make them move or whatever so rehearse man know your rhymes know your rhymes you know what i'm saying and know how you're going to move. Know your transitions or whatever. Know every single thing that you need to be doing as an MC on stage to make sure you rock a crowd. So, you know, you won't have to be worried about missing, you know what I'm saying, bars or what have you. Like, you know, if you want to do different vocal inclinations and, you know, different things you want to do with your voice, practice that too. You know what I'm saying? If you want to rap at a high octave, you want to rap at a lower octave or whatever. If you want to growl, if you want to sing with it, practice all those things. Several, several, several times before your show, after your show, you know what I'm saying? Run through it in your head, but rehearse, man. A, 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 a poorly rehearsed show, it, 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 it really proves itself, you know what I'm saying, when it's on stage. A well-rehearsed show really proves itself as well. So make sure you're doing your due diligence and you're rehearsing. Rehearse your set. Point number three. Number three, vocal care. Now, I learned about this the hard way. You know what I'm saying? I had some shows. I ain't going to say when. I ain't going to say where. But... <laughs> I get up to go rap and my voice is gone. I try to drink some cold water and my voice is gone. Not taking care of my voice really, really affected me as recent as, you know, less than a year ago on tour in a city I've never been to before. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, at the time I was a full time artist. So I get paid to do this to fight, provide for my family and I could not do my job because I did not take care of my voice. So make sure that you take care of your voice. Um, when you're on the road, drink as much room temperature water as possible don't drink cold water you know what i'm saying drink room temperature water don't drink a bunch of pop you know what I'm saying? or cold drinks or soda wherever you live at or whatever don't drink a whole lot of stuff with sugar in it you know what i'm saying trying to drink enough stuff with acids in it you know what i mean you know some lemon is good here and there or whatever but you want to take care of your vocal cords you know what i'm saying my thing was tea man when i was on tour uh last october I drank more tea than I ever have in my life. Stayed with some warm tea, with some lemons. If I couldn't get like no fancy tea, I just get a cough drop, drop it into the uh, tea and let it melt. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of helped on a medicinal type standpoint. If I could just get some regular black lifting tea, uh, most fast food places and drive throughs that let you get hot water. So just keep you a thermos or, you know what I'm saying, get you a get you a cup and just ask for some hot water. You know what I'm saying? Or a star from Copa or whatever. But drink tea. Tea is your best friend. Room temperature, you know what I'm saying? Uh, water, tea. When you perform it, if you if before you perform the whole time or whatever, go to um, go to the bar, and as opposed to asking for a cold water, just ask, do you have any water that hasn't been refrigerated yet? And nine times out of ten, they'll give it to you for free. They're not even gonna charge you, or whatever. If you're performing, they're gonna give it to you for free, or whatever. But yeah, make sure that you're not doing stuff. Uh, try to stay away from sticky foods. Uh, uh, like uh, honey buns and things of the nature, whole bunch of sweets. You really don't want to do a whole lot of dairy either. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the 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 mucus, you know, created from different dairy, can kind of like you know, you know, the the whatever. You know what I'm saying? The the milkiness or whatever you want to call it. The the you know, it can it can make your vocal cords thicken. So vocal cord uh uh, vocal cords are, are the, you know is what it's about here. Um, try not to talk. Try not to talk that much. You know, and that's hard for me. Like, it was easy for me on tour because I did the whole tour by myself. So I was by myself. But, you know, like, when I ride with a whole bunch of other people, you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to run my mouth, you know what I'm saying, to tell stories and laugh and, and crack jokes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, uh, so sorry not to say talk as much, just kind of be quiet or whatever. Um, and sleep. Sleep is the number one way to recuperate your voice. So I had, like, you know, 11 shows in like 13 days and I didn't go out, you know, so I didn't go to the strip clubs. I didn't go to no regular clubs or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you don't want to go in places where the whole bunch of smoky environments, alcohol don't help either. You know what I'm saying? Now they say like some good Jack Daniels help numb your cords, but you don't want to do too much to damage your voice or whatever. Um, so, um, you know, you just got to make sure that you're taking care of your voice or what have you. I wouldn't suggest a whole lot of smoking and things of that nature. Um, 
Rest is super duper duper important to make sure that you take care of your voice and you're not doing too much or what have you. Um, and here's the last point. Point number four, go to sound check. Everybody always complains about the sound. Everybody complains about this other stuff, but they do not go to sound check. Get there early, go to sound check. If you need, if the mics are bad, buy your own mic, invest in your own mic or what have you. Get there early. I promise you, if you go there and have a conversation with whoever's doing the sound, you know what I'm saying, and you run through your set, and you have a conversation with them, and I promise you it'll go that much more smoother. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, like, so so if you get there and you see that the sound ain't really rocking right, take your time, do your due diligence, talk to the people to make sure they can get it right. And I promise you, if you come in there and you're nice and you're professional, you have your stuff together, the sound man will work with you. The promoter will want to make sure that you're doing good because they want to put on a good show, too. But if you come in there late, like five or ten minutes before you perform, you can't blame the sound man. And, yes, I've rapped. It's been times to where the mics went out. I had to sit on the stool to kick it poetry style, kick my whole set acapella. You know what I'm saying? So I don't let nothing make me rap over vocals. Under no circumstances will I ever rap over vocals. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are just some ways. That I'd use, you know what I'm saying? And I think every MC should use. If you're in shape, if you're out of shape, if you're a rookie, if you're a, a, a veteran, if you've been doing it for a long time, these are some things that you need to make part of your regimen anyways. As I can tell you, uh, the more, like, performing live has always been my number one selling point. You know what I'm saying? And as I became a better performer, my reputation as a performer grew. It made me more valuable so I can, you know, up the price of the brick a little bit, you know what I mean? This is Marcel P. Black, a little free game on a Thursday. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to edit this stuff a little differently. So, of course, it's got some technical records, but it's all good. Y'all make sure y'all go to marcelpblack.bandcamp.com and check out my new EP, uh, you know what I'm saying, Angry Black Raps, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that we're celebrating and upholding, uplifting, you know what I'm saying, uh, real up season rap over vocals. Um, July 25th is... International Stop Rapping Over Vocals Day. So I'm going to try to have something special for y'all then. Between now, then forever. Remember, this year's call is Abolish Over Vocals Rap. Allah Mahabit Freedom.